The overall goal of this procedure is to transfect plasmid DNA into the hypothalamus of mouse embryos developing in utero in order to activate or repress the function of a gene of interest. This is accomplished by first anesthetizing the pregnant mouse and exposing the uterus through laparotomy. The second step is to inject the DNA solution into the third ventricle of the embryonic brain. Next, the positive electrode is positioned inside the uterus between the placenta and embryonic head, the negative electrode is placed on the outer uterine surface, and electric pulses are applied. The final step is to remove the transfected embryonic brains six days later. Ultimately, fluorescence microscopy is used to analyze the phenotypical alterations of the transfected cells – number, shape, position, marker expression, etc. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods like viral transfection are first, it does not require special precautions and as two facilities. Second, targeting of a specific region is possible. And third, with in utero electroporation, the screening of candidate genes is faster. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because injecting the DNA solution into the third ventricle and positioning the needle electrode properly require advanced manual skill together with some experience. This method can help answer questions in the field of hypothalamic development, particularly those relevant to cell migration as well as how individual regions and nuclei are genetically specified.